We are in Parak Chav, Nefeshachayim. What we learned on Thursday as an introduction to this was the Rambam and Hilfus Chuba. The Rambam and Hilfus Chuba tells us um, the word I used last week, which probably offended people, was a little bit annoyingly. The Rambam starts talking about Hilfus Chuba, and before he talks about Hilfus Chuba, which was Parak Bays, Mahi Hachuva, Hadidu Chuva, Yacharat Al Avar, and Kabul Al Asad, he says that the Iker Mitzvah Chuva is Vidui. So, um, you should see, which it says in the Torah, Bisvada Al Kol Chatos, that you should do Vidui. That means when the Kayin brings the carbon or the Sarah Mishkaleach and Yom Kippur, he says Vidui for Kla Yisrael, and that Vidui is the Chuva. You would think the Vidui is like a. Um, Sort of an add-on onto tshuva or halacha that you do after you do tshuva. So the Rambam says afterwards, my yield is tshuva. Um, but it comes out exactly the opposite that that uh, the ikar tshuva, the Rambam says, is vidui. Atasi avisi pashat. And you have to be mafarit the chet, and not just chatasi avisi pashati. You have to be mafarit the chet that you did and, 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 and like be my in it a little bit. And certainly you have to understand what you're saying. It doesn't help with the anything. But you have to do vidui. So um, the question that the Nefesh Achayim is answering without bringing the Rambam is why is the Iker Tshuva vidui? That, that seems to be a, maybe a, maybe a halach and help with Tshuva. And it's even more difficult to understand because <coughs> the Tshuva itself, what we call Tshuva, is just really a um, hechatimsa to be able to do Tshuva, which is vidui. It's not even, what we call chuba is not even chuba. So for instance, a, a, an example that I gave him, a, a sociological example, is that uh, a lot of people call themselves Bali Chuba, um, which is good, no Bali Chuba. But um, they're not Bali Chuba unless they actually said vidui on the Chatoim that they did. The Im Tim Salaymar, that you don't have to do that because it was a connection ish for them, then you shouldn't call yourself a Bal Chuba. <laughs> not, not a Bal Chuba. A Baal Tshuva means somebody did Tshuva, and Tshuva means that you said Vidui. So I personally um, recommend and think it's a very important halacha that anybody who's a Baal Tshuva, including if you're um, born Orthodox, but if you're a Baal Tshuva, that you have to make sure that you're um, you're mefare the chet. You're mefare to this, I did this and this wrong. Um, I used to steal, um, I used to kill people, etc. Um, whatever, whatever you were into. Um, but, if, but that's the that's the video. People people are coming in carrying a lot of um, a lot of baggage, and uh, tar, it, doing chuba itself is a process. Maybe like a twelve step process, you know. So maybe there's twelve steps that are a video, but all of it doesn't come to the, the lights don't go on until you say video. So now the nefesh of time is explaining um, why that would be, and I just want to be my. We read the nefesh of time quickly. I want to read it a little bit uh, more carefully. Ubeyer Pratus Seder Tikunam, follow with me, Karakas, please. Ubeyer Pratus Seder Tikunam is Kashrusam Ayade Hachuva. Now we need to understand, we need to explain how what the Tikun and the Hiskashrus is of Shuva. So now the Vishakhaim introduces a new idea in Shuva. You thought I just meant to return. No, it means Hiskashrus, to connect. Connecting is different than returning. Who's connecting to what? What's connecting to where? And here's the anatomy of tshuva. Shikasher pagam ha'adam b'chinas nafshay. If a person is pogam, his nefesh. Oh, afim garam chasasham shenitzikhu, or worse, pogam, your nefesh means you created some kind of a blemish on your nefesh. I'm going to explain, but a blemish, you know, spoke question, all right. It's a blemish on my neck. Something's not good. Shows up. Spot. But even worse, that's talking about courage. Person um, does such a big avera, such a terrible thing, that you've almost disconnected the nefesh from the ruach. Person walking around. Um, who disconnected the nefesh and ruach is a nefesh without a ruach and a neshama. So we explained. I was actually looking for the, the whiteboard apparatus. Oh, very well. That would be good. Maybe Chaim. Maybe just draw this up for us, and then we'll all have. 
So again, because there's a number of different <laughs> elements that have to work out together. First of all, basic. We spoke about it last week. Nafesh, Ruach, Neshama. Last week we've been speaking about it for, for months. Nafesh, Ruach, Neshama. Nafesh is the world, what we see, what the doctor sees. That's Nafesh. Ruach, um, the symptom of, of Ruach is the ability to talk and the ab ability to be intelligent. Um, but Ruach is a higher thing, and the Ruach, as we learned, connects one's Nafesh to the Neshama. Kares means, so you have Neshama, Ruach, Nafesh. Kares means you just made a Mechitza Shachoymas HaBarizel. You just made a Hafsish between the Nafesh, the Ruach, and the Neshama. It's very bad. The only reason why this Nafesh can end up being Kam Betchias HaMesim is because it's connected to the Ruach. It says in the Navi, the Ruach is going to come and he's going to be Machai the Mesim, the Ruach. If there's no nefesh connected to the end of the Ruach, so then the, uh, the, the, that, that wind, Kibiachal, is going nowhere. It's not, it's not going into any nefesh. No connection. It's not connected. It's like this. It's not connected. So, um, Nechrasu, that's what Karis is. Um, one of the, the good news about Karis is that it's not a complete disconnection. There's never a complete disconnection, apparently. Everybody can do tshuva. Menashe do tshuva. Every, everybody can do tshuva. Um, it was, can you do tshuva on cars? Yes, you can do tshuva on cars. Why? Because the technology of it is that you have nefesh connected to the Ruach. That's where we're concentrating right now. And it's connected, like every connection, with spheros. Um, uh, think of it as an electrical wire that has strands, 10 strands. So <coughs> nef, uh, uh, um, keser, chachma, Bina, Chesed, Vur, Tiferes, Natsach, Hoy, Yisoyed, Malchus, ten strands. Um, you're, when, when your Kares means you're mamish like knocking out, that's the way I'm connected. Meaning, my Nefesh unto itself doesn't have Tiferes, it doesn't have Chesed, it's only, it only has these things because I'm connected to my Neshama through my Ruach. There could be elements of Chesed in a dog also. There's not Chesed as we understand Chesed. It, 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 some kind of a tuna. The Gemara says we can learn out different things from different animals, but it's not chesed. It's coming from the neshama. So chesed is just a, a tuna. So the, when, when a person does something chesed shalom, it's high kares, you've knocked out all of those wires. Short circuit. Hefsed. Except for, miraculously, one strand. The <coughs> one strand called chachma, which we'll get to in a minute, the one strand called Chachma, which is the highest level or the, the most esoteric level, doesn't get knocked out. So if a person's high of cars, you're pretty um, malnourished spiritually. You're not connected to your neshama, but you're hanging on by a strand. You're, you're, you're hanging on by one strand. The difference between that strand and the copper wire in my muscle is that it's organic. It can grow back. It can become, the one can become two, the two can be five, ten. You can reconnect again, as long as you're somehow connected. Means that we don't disconnect completely. There's a question about this with Avodah Zarah. There's a question in the Svarim. Does Avodah Zarah, a person really gives himself over to Avodah Zarah? But we see Menashe with Ovid Avodah Zarah. So uh, he did, uh, we see he did Shuva. Nobody could understand his Shuva. Even Malachim couldn't understand Menashe and Malach's Shuva. He was a killer. He was an Ovid Avodah Zarah. He legislated Avodah Zarah. Terrible person. But, but somehow he, he did Shuva. So you see that even on Avodah Zarah, you can, you can do shuva. There's a place in the shuva, hard to do shuva, but you can do shuva. <coughs> so um, what happened, Afim Gorem Chas V'Sholom, Shinnifsiko V'Nichrasu, Kol HaTes Sviro, he doesn't say not ten, but he, 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 he cuts off nine of the ten, Mi Chachma Ulamata, the sphere of Chachma, right? Um, the sphere of Chachma, You're familiar um, with the, with the Balatanya, where he talks about Chachma Bina Das. Um, that's not the derech of most Mekubalim. Most Mekubalim is Keser Chachma Bina. No Das. It's not that there's no Das, we have Das, but it's, it's that that's not one of the series. He has a different way of counting the Balatanya. Not to be confused, because most of us somewhere, um, particularly Bali Chuba, learn Tanya at some point. And it's confusing, because it's a, uh, that's not the derech of all the Mekubalim. It's, too, uh, it's, it's, it's really two words for the same thing, but that's, that's not our subject here. So Chachma is the top, according to this. Chachma ulamata mihiz kashusis, mashma like the Balatani, right? 
Chachma ulamata meis kashu. So you knocked off everything except for Chachma. Vatered ployim, and you are in a downward spiral. Leimkei mitzulei saklipos. How am I living now if I'm not attached to my ruach? If I'm not attached to my neshama, how am I living? And the answer is, I'm living from a klipa. We have to explain that too. I'm the, the, the same way that the plants are living, that's how I'm living. But even worse, because plants are not living from tumma. We're living from tumma. There's a koach tumma. Meaning, um, I, I explained last week, I'm just going to say it one more time, that in, in Shamayim, there's ki'ilu, two generators. There's the generator, now I'm going back to my wires. Um, there's the generator of life, of kedusha. The way life is supposed to work, the way humans are supposed to work, people are supposed to work. But then there's another generator called Sitra Achra, and that could also give life. We don't want that life. That life is polluted. That life is full of war, it's full of hell. That's what that life is. It's, it's, from, it's from the dark side, that, that <laughs> life. And what, what happens is, as I explained, that even in the middle of a sentence, when you're talking to Yifrei Torah, you're getting all of the koach that we're getting from the koach of Kedusha, and Chachmos, Chachmos Adam Toyer Panav. I'm, I'm shining because of that. And then if I decide to stick in a long, one sentence of, of Lush and Hara, so what happens is the plug comes out of here and goes into there. And all of a sudden I'm being generated, by, the power in me is being generated by a koach of Tumma. And it, it's, it's, um, it's, it's terrible, terrible ramifications as to what the person is. You can't connect with that person. Very difficult to connect with a person who's being, who's being energized by Tumma. So try talking. Talking to the way. You have to find somewhere. So that's why, by the way, a lot of times the hook of Kirub is in the world of Chachma. It's possible. Because as the verse is so far off, the Chachma doesn't, doesn't disconnect. So sometimes, like, you can, that's, not, that's not Shuba, but sometimes you can intellectually um, discuss something with somebody because that's the only thing that's left. Chachma somehow is also connected to, um, to the higher places. Tered ployim, but what's, where's the rest of me being energized from? Tered ployim lim came at Sulais Haklipois Chasusham. Azal Yede Vidui Dvarim. So now, what happens is when I say Vidui, Be'emes, earnestly, Miumka Deliba, a lot of conditions here. Be'emes, or Miumka Deliba, Ba'akima Sifasav, and Dafka, if I am moving my lips, I'm actually saying something. Bechinas, which is Nefesh de Ruach. Let's let's be medayik over here. Means to say that that um, there's two there's two parts of talking. One part of talking is moving my lips. Another part of my, t- my talking is deep work. When when the wind energizes it and it actually comes out as words. Person who um, has no koach, so they move their lips, and and they but, but, but no words come out. So akima sosayim. Is the beginning. Um, that's why um, Chana and, and Tefillah, she was moving her lips. There, there was no, there was no call. That was like Tefillah seems to be. We learned from there. Akimas Vasayim. But we know that the halach is there has to be dibur also, and you have to at least hear it to your ears. What's the halach of the dibur and Akimas Vasayim? Two things. So Akima Sosayim starts the Koach of Dibor. So here's, here's what happens. And that goes Le'elu Le'elu. Now, um, so let, let me just put this picture in front of you clearly. You have our bodies, our lives, our, which includes our brains and our hearts, in other words, the, the, the life force of a person. Um, that's all Nefesh. Nefesh Kiyachta. Nefesh ki yichras. It's a nefesh. It's also the world, if I had a chart, I would say that the nefesh is parallel to the world of Misa. Remember we learned, Machshava, Dibor, Misa. Nefesh is Misa. The nefesh is the most down-to-earth part of what we are existentially. And when I, when I actually um, do a Misa, I'm doing something with my nefesh. This is very important because then I'm taking everything that's up there in that whole system and I'm bringing it down to earth. That's the nefesh. So the nefesh is the is the part of us that does the ma'isa. The, the the neshama, on the other hand, is the energizing factor 
which is giving us koach of Kedusha to do that Maisa. What's the Ruach? The Ruach is, the, is, the, um, is that which joins the, the Neshama and the Nefesh. So the Ruach most famously does a lot of things, but most famously um, it is in charge of Dibur. Right? The, the um, by Yipach, by Apa of Nishmas Chaim, the Targum says, let's get technical here. Is that the shot that he really blew the Neshama into a person? The Neshama is still here, but he blew the Ruach, and therefore it was Memalo, and there, therefore there was Dibur. So um, the, the fact that we can talk. Is because Hakadosh Baruch Hu blew the neshama through the ruach, and out came dibur. So now, where is dibur on the scale of nefesh, ruach, neshama? So let's think machshava, dibur, maisa. Nefesh Achai made this parallel. Nefesh is dibur, but you gave up already. Small, but I'm just helpful. Okay. <laughs> I'm just getting you. I'm just getting started. Okay, so very good. Machshava Dibur Maisa parallels Machshava parallels Neshama and Dibur parallels Ruach. And Maisa, the things that we do, good Maisa, bad Maisa, that, that's the world of Nefesh. Let me just go to Maisa. Baruch Atzohad, I'm going to let you know. Maybe Maisa. So this act of making a bracha and drinking water is taking the the, the neshama, oh, taking the neshama, coming through the ruach, make a bracha, and then you drink the water, nefesh. That's the maisa. Nefesh, ruach, neshama, and what that was was machshava. I'm thinking Hashem the machshava. Dibur, I said a bracha, maisa, I said the bracha, and I made the, and I drank the. Uh, but where's Dibur in all of this? Let's leave the oil on my sprout for one minute. Where's Dibur in all of this? It's in Ruach, right? Ruach and Malava. So the ex, so, so, so what we understand is that it's not exactly correct. Because Dibur, says the Ari, hold with me here for a minute, bear with me in this. Dibur is not the whole Ruach, um, it's the lowest part of Ruach, and it's the Makam of Hiskashras between the Nefesh and the Ruach. So meaning, Dibur is not technically like right here so parallel. Dibur is actually that which is the highest part of Nefesh and the lowest part of Ruach. That's what Dibur is. <laughs> so it's certainly part of Nefesh. So, but why does it have to be part of Ruach? <laughs> yeah, but in other words, but that, that it actually distinguishes us from the rest of the Bria. So the fact that the that we're able to talk articulately, not like a parrot. A parrot could talk, it's interesting. I wonder if that's like holier than every other animal. But it's not really I, I don't know. <laughs> but the the, the the, the, the fact that we're able to talk intelligibly, articulate, communicate, is the is is from the ruach, but obviously, as you say, it's using the nefesh. So now, what what that means in kabbalistic language, but it's really very simple, is dibur is actually right there on the cusp. It's right there on the line between nefesh and ruach. Important, and let's call it the the transformer. Let's call it the connector, the, 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 the connector between Nefesh and Ruach. So now we understand something. What we understand here is that if I, um, want, I did something terrible, I want to do chu. So I have Harata al Ha'avar. Where is that? Machshava. Nice. Um, I have Kabbalah al Ha'asit. Where is that? I'm, I'm machlit believe me that I'm never going to do that thing again. Machshava. I say that I'm never going to do it again. Whoa, now you've just descended into the world with the world from the world of Ruach. And not only have you just used the world of Ruach, but you've connected the world of Ruach to the world of Maisa. So Bidui 
which we now learn is not just self-improvement or self-help, but vidui, but shuva, which is much more than that. It's, it's actually getting back connected, reconnecting to my correct source. That's what shuva is. Even if a person has a shalom, is if you're so disconnected, I can reconnect through the koach of Tibor. The, the condition is that, as he says, it has to be connected. So if it's connected, Machshava, Dibor, and Misa, Bob's your uncle. <laughs> you're, back, you're back in shape. You're realigned. So this is this is a, 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 a beautiful, as I said on Thursday, a chiropractic adjustment of the soul. If you take Dibor one step on the line, Lydia, you're right on. And a Kohen, any Kohen doing part of Has to, or any Kohen even dochening. Some Afez Yadav. Doing just the Adayim. Right. I believe, I couldn't find it inside, but I believe that the Yisoyed V'Shar Shavoyed, it's a wonderful safer written by Rav Alexander Ziskin. My son is named after Alexander Ziskin. So he writes that the reason why we're clapping when we're saying vidui is to do a maisa like the kind does a maisa. You know, instead of going like this, we're going like this. There's a couple to that also. Why dafka the lave? What, why, why the lave? Was the lave chotzer? But, but I, I want to show you something just uh, <coughs> while we're here. The Gemara says, interesting thought. Mar says in Bab Metzia, that Sadiq of Mbeis. Sadiq of Mbeis, unlikely um, to be quoted in um, Nefesh Achaim. This is a Mishahalach and Gemara, no, I gotta say here. In the Gemara, it talks about um, the Isra of Chasima. Chasima, like Sachsoim Shor Bidishai. You're not allowed to prevent a Shor from eating as he's. Um, He's doing it as, as he's plowing. So the shore, the ox, is moving along, carrying the, this heavy, heavy plow behind him, and he wants to eat something, but he's, he's, he's killing my margin by, by doing that. So put a muzzle on him, and that way I get the work without having the expense. As the Torah, Leisach Saim Shor Bidisha, that's a lav, Shiesh by Malchus. It has Malchus, you put a muzzle on a uh, on a uh, on a shore while he's doing disha, your chayiv machus. So says the Torah. That's, that's the Chumash says. As the Gemara, Bametzia said, "Sadi Amud Beis." Itmar learned like this: Chasma bekol. In higa bekol, chasma bekol. Let's say your your ox is so trained, animal to be trained. Um, Shayo commented that animals are easier to train than people. Your day is short, my name. <laughs> but the the ox is well trained, and the ox you don't put any you know, muzzle chasm show. Yeah. But what you do is you yell at the ox. The ox starts to bend down to eat from the produce. They go, hey, st stop eating. And the ox stops eating. So is that the lava of Hasima or is it not a lava of Hasima? Um, so the, the, the technical part of that is, is it a lava of Shiesh by Maisa, the Yerchai of Makasan, or not? Are Yerchai of Makas for doing that? So the Gemara says, Chasma Bekal, Bin Higa Bekal. What's in Higa Bekal? Different case. Let's say, you're not allowed to um, take a shor of a chamar yachad to do to, to plow your field. That's cloy, cloy behem. You're not allowed to do cloy. So, um, but that's only talking about if you're whipping or you're leading the shor of a chamar yachad on the field. If they're going themselves, obviously you don't do anything. But what if we say giddy up and you don't hit anybody, and 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 they start to walk? Is that a lav? Shliyesh by Maisa is that a lav she'ain by Maisa? The Shailu the Gemara, Rabbi Yochanan Amar Chayiv, Reish Lakish Amar Potter. 
Achlekes Rabbi Yochanan Reish Lakish. Mashicha. 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 Yeah. Yeah. But it's not. We're talking about whether you're chayiv makus or that. So makus has to do with the nefesh isechta. You can only get makus. You never get makus. So a a a lav sheyesh koy baisa loikin alav. You never get makus for a machshavara, even if it's a terrible machshavara. Even if you don't get box, you don't get boxes for that. It has to be a lav sheish boy meisa. Why? Because makos is a punishment to the nefesh. So it means to say the nefesh kisefta. The nefesh did a chet. So now the machlekes the gemara says between Rabbi Yochanan and Reish Lakish is is Tibor <coughs> screaming at my animal. Is that called a meisa or is it not called a meisa? So Rabbi Yechonon Amar Chayev, Reish Lakish Amar Potter. Incidentally, I'm just teasing you with this. I believe this Machlech is Rabbi Yechonon Reish Lakish is Lashitas of Mahalash Askula. Whether whether Dibor is called a, a, a Maisa or not, the Machlech is also Machlech the other way. You're a Kedibor. <laughs> One step further up. One step further up. Interesting. Rabbi Yechonon Amar Chayev says the Gemara, Akim Aspiv Have Maisa. Akimas piv have a mice. Rachel Akish Amar Potter, Kololoi have a mice. It's interesting how they change the lash. Rabbi Yochanan says, Akimas piv have a mice. What does he mean? And, and Rachel Akish answers them, but he doesn't say Akimas piv. Akimas piv is just sat, like lipping it. He says Akimas Vasa. Okay, good for reading more. Akimas piv have a mice. Reish Lakish should say Potter. Why? Because Aki must be loy have a ma'isa. Says the Reish Lakish. Reish Lakish over Potter. Kolo loy have a ma'isa. Right then, they're arguing about apples and oranges here. The Tarot says that that he wants to learn. Rabbi wants to learn that apparently Potter of Shat is that every Dibor. Even if the Dibor is 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 not a Misa per se, but the Akimas Pet is a Misa. And Reish Lakish says, What do you Greg? Akimas Pet is just a technical part of getting the word out. If you were a ventriloquist, you could talk without Akimas Pet. So Kola is what we're talking about, and Kola Loi have a Misa. Okay, uh, it's an interesting thing. Uh, the, the Bach, I, it's hard to, at this moment, just make it exactly. But let me just say this, that the Pashat, the Pashat of Achlechus, whether, let's, besides the Diyuk and the Lashat, the Pashat of Achlechus, the Rabbi Yechon Reish Lakish, is if Dibur is a Misa, if Dibur is not a Misa. Meaning, is it, is to, deeper, is Dibur part of the Nefesh, which would be Machai of a person, Makos, or is Dibur still you heard to the Ruach, which has no Din Maisa to it. Why? Because it has no Din Nefesh. In order to get Makas, you have to have a Nefesh. Nefesh Kisechta. So you have here a, a, a clear Machlekes. The Gemara brings many examples of this. Amira La'akum Shus. If you, if you're you do a malach on Shabbos, how you day amira? Talk into a microphone, or a, or a um, what's it called? The Amazon thing? Alexa. Siri. Oh. Alexa. <laughs> malach on Shabbos, or is it not malach on Shabbos? So the, 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 so the first the first thing you have to know about this is the chayra. It's not a maisa. Her, her, I'm not, uh, the olive phase of doing a malach on Shabbos, the is you have to have a maisa. So if I'm if I'm just talking with my lips, if I'm just uh, exerting a thought on my, why is this a question? Why is it a question? Is a maisa such an esoteric question? The Bereshit and Rishon Lakish are discussing, and the answer is it's very, it's very simple because in the chart of nefesh, ruach, neshama, the dibur or the coil. Or the Akimas Fasayim 
is right there on the border. And being it's right there on the border between my nefesh and my ruach, so it's a manifestation of the ruach. So is it called the Misa? Is it not called the Misa? You know, all we have a machlekes can't be like a, they, they weren't arguing. I mean, so they both agreed on the Matthias. The Matthias being that the Dibor is a little bit connected to the to the ruach, and it's a little bit connected to the nefesh. The only machlekes is what kind of din does that have? Does it have a din of nefesh? Does it have a din of ruach? So that that's 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 where we're holding so far. What would it hold if we did in ruach? <coughs> Greed. Greed. Um, and, the, and the positive shot. Uh, ruach, when we get to the Elamites in a minute, <laughs> uh, Andrew, how, many, how many things go into the world of, of Ruach? Is Ruach Mamalala <clears throat> going according to both of those sheepers? Yeah. It, it's, it's like, think about this language over here. So it's two things, right? Ruach, meaning, look at this ruach. This ruach can talk. Could be malachim have ruach, but they can't talk. So the, the, the look at look at this ruach that comes so close to the earth that it could actually start talking. Do you, do it's important to understand. That when the Kaddish Baruch Hu um, created the world, um, he created the world with Dibor. Didn't have to talk. Asara Mamores, Nivrahoil, Vayoimer, 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 Vayoimer. Ten times. He didn't have to talk. So I can't just. Kaddish Baruch Hu, Oimer, Tzvoise. Why did he have to talk? Why couldn't he just. Hashem, you know, it's Hashem. <laughs> just think it. The, the, the fact that Hashem talked is even a bigger nest than the fact that He created the world. I mean, because Hashem talked, like what's the? But but the answer is that what was going on, what we need to understand in the in the mechanics of Brias Ha'olam, is that something from a from from the world of Atzilus was coming down through the world of Bria and coming down through the world of Yitzira, and this kav was being Yare all the way to the world of Asiya. And if it's HaKadosh Baruch Hu Kibyachal creating the world from Machshava, so then it never reaches the place of Ruach. And if it never places the world of Ruach, and, and Dibur is on the cusp, on the cutting edge of Ruach and Nefesh, so the idea of HaKadosh Baruch Hu um, creating the world, the Svarim tell us, is to bring his Shechina into this world. So to bring his Shechina into this world, it has to be Bedibor. Basar Mamar is Nibra Ha'ilu. Yeah, clear? It has to be Bedibor. It's the same thing, like like the Sefer Hayatira tells us at the beginning, that the world was Nivra Alpha Beta, the world was built, was created with the Aleph base. We need the Aleph base here, so everybody likes to make pictures of Aleph Bays is flying down from the Shemai. But the, the, the shot is that Aleph Bays Gimel Dalet is the beginning of, it's, it's the last place of Machshava and the first place of articulation. If you teach a child Aleph Bays, you know an Aleph, you know Bays. You know, there's a new Shita in reading Hebrew where you don't bother teaching the child Aleph Bays, you just teach him how to read. Like you don't need to know really, like what's an olive, what's is this, what's that. That's a gimel. You don't have to really know. That's a gimel. You just have to know. It's a gimel. It's did, and together it's God. Like it's a new sheet in reading. I get a tire. No, I I taught probably five hundred adults how to read Hebrew over the years, <laughs> and the system is skip the. Information of olive phase, gimel dalet. I never teach them olive phase. It doesn't make any difference. It's called olive phase. It's just wasting room in your brain. Just what does it sound like? You don't have to know A B C D E F G. You don't have to know it. Just just do it. But um, this this is not what's going on in Shemayim because what's going on in Shemayim is that the the original articulation 
of the Brias Oilam is through an Aleph and through a Bays and the Kedush of the Aleph, which is made up of a Vav and two Yuds, etc. Shem Havaya. The, 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 the Oisius themselves are the, are the Haschala. So Rav Cook's first words in the Oyeros is Kola Oilam Kulay Malay Oisius. It's a, a beautiful language. The very first paragraph of Iris Akoidish is It means the world is full of pieces. And these pieces can be put together in so many different ways. It's a scrabble. It's, it can be put together in so many different ways. And the world can look so different according to what we do in the world of Nefesh. So the, again, the, the Nakuta here is that Dibur is just where Ruach meets Nefesh. And that's that recalibration, that re-hooking, realignment between my nefesh and my ruach must be bedibur. Hence, tshuva needs the ikar of tshuva is vidui. The ikar of tshuva is vidui. Is it a ma'isa? It's the beginning of a ma'isa. It's the beginning of the world of Nefesh and the end of the world of Ruach. It's the connecting place. What kind of a din does it have? But in terms of Shufa, the din is that that's, that's, how, I'm, that's how I'm reconnecting. Begoyreim says the Nefesh Achayim, and by realigning Amgoyreim, she is atzel toisefes kedusha mimenu yisbarach shemoi on Goyrim she yisatzel. Yisatzel is the word atzilus. Yisatzel. By yatzel min haruach. Doesn't the Chumash. Right? Moshe Rabbeinu gathered 70 zakenim. By yatzel min haruach asher Allah ba'alazim. There was there was a, an atzilus, a, a glow which went from Moshe, an energy which went from Moshe, and he was matzil the other Ziknei Yisrael. He brought this down into them. So what happens over here is by realigning, the moment I say Bidui properly, this is what's so gewaldic about uh, doing tshuva, that it should be able, a sensitive person doing tshuva should be able to feel that difference. Should be able to feel it. That, that I'm saying Bidui properly, and maybe if you don't feel it means you didn't say Bidui properly. So I'm saying Bidui properly. Whoa, all of a sudden, boom, 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 boom. It's like, there's a, that's, you're like a, uh, you're like a, um, Sonogram of a heart, you know, ultrasound of a, of, a, of a heart pumping. Everything starts to flow, and everything is gewaldig, and I'm a whole different group. This is going now. I just want to explain one more thing here. This is before we close for today. This is going from the world of Bria to the world of Yitzir and Asim. Lev Tahar, Grali Elekim, Bria, Veruach. Nachain Chadesh Bikir. Ruach Nachain, David Amalov, it's a beautiful word. That the Neshama, which is probably what he means when he says lave there, is Tahar. That's in the world of Bria. So from the world of Bria, the Neshama has to give its energy through the world of Ruach, Lave Tahar, Rawli, the Ruach Nachain Chadesh Bikir. Nefesh, Ruach, Nisham. So, unbelievable. So we understand, um, let me end by saying three things that we can understand here, aside from the main thing, three side things. Number one is, what's Ruach HaKodesh? Ruach HaKodesh. Ruach HaKodesh is when a person, and, and the Gemara says that even though there's no more Nebuah, we still have Ruach HaKodesh. We have Ruach HaKodesh, ability to have Ruach HaKodesh. Ruach HaKodesh is when I'm able to access from the world above me and get that much closer to the Neshama, and that's what I'm talking about. That's Ruach HaKodesh. It's not just a strong intuition or a holy intuition. It's coming from the world of Ruach, out into the world of Dibur. Ruach Katshecha Al Tikach Ruach Katshecha Al Tikach Number one. But on the other hand, this is this is much more fascinating. Ein adam chayte, person does a chet. Elaim kein nechnas boy. Ruach. Stus. How does stus get in the pipe? 
how does dust get into my, my holy pipe? It's a good question. Nichnas boy, that's me, ruach shtus. Shtus is the guy that's suffered its yusa. The shtus is when I corrupt the dibur gufa. Meaning, that's already good. <laughs> the ruach is good, it's coming into my nefesh. And I can, with my, with my brain, I can so far crumb it up. And, it, and that's what shtus is. Like Lashon of Sutta, I pushed it to the side. So I could take the Ruach itself, apparently, and I could create a Ruach, just that's a, that's a Chet. Understand the Chet. A Chet is not because your Nefesh is not connected to your Ruach. And a Chet is because that would be, how do you do the Chet L'Chatchila? Everybody asks, uh, if, if Adam Arishan didn't have a Yetzirah, how do you do the Chet? The, 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 how can you do a Chet? First you do a Chet, I understand, you cut yourself off, so now I'm doing Chatoim. Okay, I'm Nefesh without Ruach. But how do you do the first chet? The answer is you could farkrum, you could be ma'akem. Remember this, akimas also, it's a, you could be ma'akem, the ruach, into a ruach shtus. That's a dangerous thing because that ruach shtus, it feels like it's ruach, it could feel very holy. Really, you're saying shtus. Shtus is different than making a mistake. Shtus is a good word. Shtuyot. Shtuyot. Stiot, dissonance, it refers to a dissonance, cognitive dissonance. It's, it's a, a, a taking something which is good enough, or crumbing it up to match my nefesh so it feels better coming into my nefesh. I want, a, I, want, I want the ruach that I'm getting, let's call it the conscious for a moment. I want the ruach that I'm getting to, to, to feel, I want that flow to feel good coming into me. And it does not feel good if it's musr or if it's something which is incompatible with what I'm doing right now. I don't like it. So what do I do? Shtus. <laughs> so that part, that first um, coming in is, is a difficult thing. And the third thing that I just want to leave you with is that the Gemara says in Yoma, G'doy l'tshuva shemagas atizeh kavod. Shuvah is magas at Kisya Kavod. Where's the Kisya Kavod? What's the importance of the Kisya Kavod? Kisya Kavod is the oil of Neshamas. When Menashe did Shuva, it says that HaKadosh Baruch Hu himself, Kotar Chatira Tachas Kisya Kavod. He made a hole under the Kisya Kavod to let his Shuvah come in. Meaning, to connect his one little strand there back to the world of Neshama. So the Kisya Kavod is the oil of Neshamas, and the Kisya Kavod is in the world of Bria. Lev tar bara li aleikim. The world of Bria. G'day l'tshuva, when one connects through tshuva, g'day l'tshuva, shem magas ad kisei It can go all the way to the world of Bria. So what, what we're talking about here, tshuva, well, it's, it's, it's such a, a whole different idea. I mean, of course, the self-improvement has to be the prerequisite to the whole thing. But we're talking about, this is like the, the when we talk about this gematria, not the gematria, the Rashi Tevas, everybody talks about Adi Ladoidi, Vadadi Li, but, but it, what, it, what it means to say is it's, it's, a, it's a reconnection. Adi Ladoidi, Vadadi Li. We're able to connect. And when you're able to connect, we're, we're thinking more clearly. And the cognitive dissonance dis dissipates. And I'm able to make glata cheshboinus instead of trying to do things and making things work in my mind. All kinds of acrobatics to make it work. So I'm fitting, I'm fitting a square peg into a round hole. That's what's happening over here. So we do tshuva. And tshuva says, this is a little bit difficult, but I'm going to try to line this up. It might hurt. I'm going to try to line this up. For, I'm going to condition myself where I'm, I'm able to accept the ruach mimalala. I'm able to accept it and say it. We've been doing it. I've done tshuva. And here's the, the, the final point. That person who does tshuva doesn't just reconnect like the tzavik. Toisefes kedusha, somehow or another, it's like fresh blood. <laughs> you know what, what, what happens is, like, there's a new ruach, ruach chadash. A ruach chadash comes in, meaning that this is, this is one of the reasons why um, that about tshuva stands higher than a tzavik. 
because the tzaddik is working with the old system, and somehow or another, the, the haftacha by tshuva is that ruach chadash, ruach nachain chadash, could hear me. I have a chadash, and the chadash is something so fresh. I, I was once talking to, uh, you know, you know, yoga people love to have you do inversions. I know math patlan that you're standing right side up. <laughs> so to be right side up, right? But they're always standing on your head. And the, the reason for standing on your head is that was explained to me because when you go back on your feet, this is a whole new circulation of blood coming that would have never happened before. So this is the Ruach Nachain, Chadesh Bekirvi, as a Masha. So the, the, the Balshuba stands in a place with freshness. And that's why Balshuba is so fresh. So it's so beautiful about Shuba. About Shuba is able to do things that Sadiq and Gumar are not able to do. It's not just these standing higher in Shemaim. Able to take on things and in, in, in Yonim and places of your Shemaim. About Shuba is able to, to have a Hasada that regular Sadiq can't have. They, it's a whole new idea. Why? Because it's fresh. And it's not fresh like a little child that doesn't have a developed brain. It's fresh like a mature adult. That, that, so it's, it's, it's a whole new thing until you stop being about Shuba. You know, I'm always quoting the, uh, the, the Rebbe, so the Rebbe, somebody asked him, like, when do you get to stop being a Balchuba and be just like a regular person? So, so he said, when you start talking during davening. <laughs> but, so, that's, from the <laughs> uh, that, that's so amok, though, because um, the deep war, <laughs> in other words, that you're, don't worry, now you're misaligned again. <laughs> you're, you're misaligned again. Your deep war is going for completely the wrong, can you say it up, bro? I wish I need, uh, if I have, um, the shul is moving. So I have um, a number of boxes, like 200 of them, folded in my car. I need to come inside. I just need a hand. So if anybody has like five minutes to help me, I'll bring my car for a couple. Can you bring the 